Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, semi-circle with the center of fully inscribed uh, in a green shaded rectangle uh, A, B, C, D. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this uh, code uh, CE length is uh, 48 units, whereas this segment uh, AE length is uh, 27 units. And furthermore, uh, these points A, E and C are collinear. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded rectangle A, B, C, D. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, green shaded rectangle ABCD. I'm going to label uh, its uh, side AD length uh, as uh, Y and this uh, side CD length uh, as uh, X. And now since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, green shaded uh, rectangle. So therefore, let's recall the area of rectangle formula. Area is always equal to length uh, times the width uh, of this uh, rectangle. And in our case, uh, the length of this uh, rectangle is X uh, and the width is Y. So therefore, uh, this green rectangle area is going to be simply X uh, times uh, Y. So therefore now our task is to find the value of uh, x uh, and the value of y as well. And here's our next step. I'm going to connect uh, these points uh, d and e. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if uh, C, D and E are the distinct uh, point on the circle where the line C, D is the diameter, then the angle uh, C, E, D is a right angle. So no wonder this angle uh, C, E, D is going to be a 90 degree angle since uh, the points uh, C, D and E lie on the very same semicircle and uh, C, D is the diameter. And furthermore, uh, this angle uh, A, D, C is going to be a 90 degrees angle as well, since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle. And now I'm going to label uh, this uh, segment uh, D, E length uh, as uh, lowercase uh, h. And now let's recall the Euclid's uh, theorem. As you can see in this given diagram, here we got this uh, right angle triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, perpendicular CD and its uh, height is lowercase h. And furthermore, uh, this segment uh, BD is being represented by X and this segment uh, AD is being represented by Y. Then according to this uh, Euclid's theorem, uh, h square is going to be X uh, times Y. And we are going to apply this Euclid's theorem on our this given problem. And here we got uh, these uh, two segments, uh, 27 and uh, 48. And the height is uh, lowercase uh, h. So therefore we can write uh, h square equals to 27 times uh, 48. And let's multiply the right hand side. So h square equals to 1296. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our height uh, h value is going to be positive 36. So therefore our this uh, height uh, h value turns out to be 36. And now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADE. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle to solve for uh, Y. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is Y, whereas our two other legs are 27 and uh, 36. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in the Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, 27 square plus uh, 36 square equals to y square. Let's simplify, we are going to get uh, 729 plus uh, 
1296 equals to y square so therefore y square is going to be equal to 2025 20, and now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both sides so therefore our y value simply turns out to be equal to 45 units so therefore our this uh, y value turns out to be 45 and now we are going to focus on this other right triangle cde and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle uh, as well to solve for x and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, our hypotenuse is x whereas our two other legs are 36 uh, and 48 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we got uh, 36 uh, square plus uh, 48 uh, square equals to x uh, square let's simplify we are going to get 12 uh, 96 uh, plus uh, 23 uh, 4 equal to x uh, square so therefore our x square value is going to be equal to 3600 and now I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking square root on both sides and here we can see we are going to get uh, our x value is going to be equal to 60 units so thus our uh, x value simply turns out to be 60 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle uh, a b c d and now let's recall this uh, equation green shaded rectangle uh, area is going to be equal to x times y and here our x value is 60 and y value is 45 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, equation our x value is uh, 60 and y value is uh, 45 and if we multiply we are going to get uh, 2700 uh, square uh, units uh, the area of this green shaded rectangle ABCD so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this green shaded rectangle ABCD turns out to be 2700 square units in other words, uh, the area of this green shaded rectangle is going to be 2,700 uh, square uh, units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.